Yeah, actually, it's kind of interesting because I do remember in Flutter, right, uh, some things are slightly different based on what kind of device you have, right? If you have iOS versus Android, right? I think there's one of the differences is I think on an Android, if you swipe up, you're going to get something similar to an ink, an inkwell kind of popping up, but you don't get that on iOS, right? So Right. Apple this is also actually, part of material, right? This yes, kind of it thing. is all part of mm-hmm. Yes. Sorry, we... we um, you know, Google uh, has to be its omni platform. We have to reach people wherever they are on whatever kind of phone or browser or device that they're on. And people expect us to be there with, with the kind of ubiquity that Google has. They let us know if we're not in the place that they want them to be. They'll say, where's my Gmail for, um, you know, tripad. Uh, so um, if... Uh, we have a lot of users on iOS. There's so many people on iOS. It's a very important platform. And one of the things that we've done over the years is listen to feedback and do experiments to see how we can um, make sure that that's an idiomatic experience for people on that platform. What we don't want is to just make people, like I said, we want them to, to feel familiar and happy when they're using an app. And if we if we bring things that, are, that don't really belong on that platform to that platform, then people have to be like, what is this? How does it work? I'm not used to this. I have to learn something again. Um, and I think some of our early iOS design had that problem. And so we've um, learned which things are important to people um, to feel like an iOS experience makes sense to them. Some of those things are switches. Switches should look like Apple's iOS design language switches. Um, Checkboxes are another thing. People don't use um, the same kind of checkbox on iOS. They often use just um, a check icon instead of having the square around it. Uh, radio buttons are another. There aren't radio buttons on um, on iOS. Uh, menus used to be another. There used to be no menus on iOS, and now they've just added menus on iOS. So we're um, you know probably interested in bringing menus back to iOS. And so we we know this in Flutter that people are going to build once and then ship it out to all these different platforms. So if we can make it easier for them to make some of these choices, then we've taken that work off your plate. And so for some of the very, very basics like that, we have um, some ways of doing that. One is the dot adaptive constructor. If you use a switch from the material library, but use the constructor dot adaptive, on iOS, it will look like a Cupertino or Apple switch. But on um, Android or other things, it will look like a material switch. The same with slider. Um, we also know that transitions are different. They come in, depending on if you're on iOS or Android, they completely different behavior. Um, and so you get that out of the box if you're using uh, Navigator and Roots and stuff like that. Um, in fact, somebody was just putting in a, um, I forget if it was a pull request or a GitHub issue asking for on web for there automatically to be no transitions. So I know that we're considering that right now because on web sites just change. They don't like come in from the right or come in from the bottom like they do on mobile. Um, So we're uh, considering making that easier for people. Please let me know everyone out there if you think that would be useful to you. Um, Oh, and then typography. So Apple uh, really requests that people who are building apps for their platforms use their um, typography for um, body fonts called San Francisco. Um, so it's in the vast majority of iOS apps. But then we always had guidance um, saying that people should use uh, Roboto, which is our body font. Then it's one of those things that made people go when they would get into a, a Google app or a material designed app on iOS, like something about this feels very wrong and I don't know what. Because it's a very minor change and they you know, a letter is still a letter, but they knew that something was weird. It was the spacing. It was the way they were slightly drawn. If you put them over each other, you would notice that, like, the words don't line up. So we give you that for free on Flutter, which is really cool. It just automatically shows people the San Francisco font when they're opening it on an iOS app. I think it might even do that on a Mac OS app, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, it, being adaptive like that um, as much as possible is something people have asked for. One of the things that I will say we can't really do is to give people for free automatically a completely different experience. Um, 
there is not as much of a definition of a design system on iOS the same way that there is um, in Material. So some users out there have said like, I want my iOS app and my Android app, both built with Flutter, to look completely different, but I don't know what that difference should look like. So we've experimented over the years on trying to figure out how to do that for people. But um, aside from these small adaptations that we do, I don't think that anybody should expect that we're going to be working on any um, kind of like uh, making large choices for people. So if you watch this talk that we had from IO, I think two years ago, on Flutter and being adaptive, um, we, we show people how to make those choices in their code. How do you use um, uh, switches and if statements for checking the platform that something's running on to um, either return maybe different layout or return different widgets or in some cases entire different widget trees based on what they want. Um, so Flutter makes it kind of easy for people to do that. Um, we, we still believe that, that having one code base uh, especially for your business logic is the best way to go, even if your UI needs to be a little bit different in both places. What we never, never want is to, for people to feel like we're forcing Android design to be in other places. That's, uh, Material is definitely associated with Android a lot. It works on other platforms, but it works best if you make it idiomatic to those platforms.